Hello, beautiful mamas. Welcome back to another Mommy Moment. I'm Isabel, your mother's empowerment coach. And this is Mommy Circle, the place where we put the me back in mommy. Welcome, welcome. Hope everyone had a lovely weekend. Today, we're talking about how we can use me time to feel more of the way we want to feel. And if you know me at all, either personally or within this group, you know that I'm constantly saying that we have to do the things we need to do to feel the way we want to feel. So I have a tool for you, a gift for you all today, for those of you who wish to receive it. Um, and that is the gift of your personal ideal self avatar. So have you ever heard of this word avatar or maybe seen the movie? Many of us have heard of an ideal client avatar. So someone that, you know, our ideal client. So today I want to explore what our ideal self would do. How would she live her life? And then once we have created kind of a picture of who she is based on reality, right? Her life is the same as yours. She's got the same kids, the same circumstances, the same personality. So she's not really actually that different. She might make different choices than you do. And that is what we're actually looking at today. So we, we're going to use this ideal self avatar and notice what are the differences between her and I? Where do I fall short? And it's not a place of shaming ourselves at all. It's just a place of curiosity. Like, how is she different from me? And also, how are we the same? And again, I have a free gift for you. So I'll talk more about it at the end. Um, and it's yours if you want it. So I'm just going to walk you through my own personal ideal avatar. And again, we have many similarities. Angel, hi, sweetheart. Yay, thanks for being here. So we have many similarities. However, I am noticing some gaps, and that's good information for me. So let's see. One of my ideal avatar, my ideal self avatars um, ways is that her kids contribute to household responsibilities. So recently in this group, we started a thread where we've been talking about chores and that's also been really up um, for me lately. I'm like, we haven't started school yet. I know many of you have, but we're still kind of gearing up and getting ready. So I'm just thinking my ideal self, her kids contribute to the house. So they bust their plates, um, from the kitchen table to the sink. My oldest daughter makes her bed and gets dressed in the morning by herself. And then my son helps pick up his own toys and helps me fold the laundry. So again, I'm describing my ideal self and I'm patting myself on the back here, which I invite you to pat yourself on the back when, when it feels right. My kids are doing these things. Yay, win! So not as consistently as my ideal self would, you know, make happen, but I'm meeting myself. I'm getting closer and closer to my ideal self, especially in this department. So what else about my ideal self? So again, her personality is the same as mine. She does not like to go shopping. Okay, so she does not like to go grocery shopping. She does not like to go clothing shopping. Can anyone relate? Am I the only woman out here who does not like to shop for clothing? Not for myself, nor for my children. Luckily, I have two sets of grandparents who are very willing to send my kids school clothing. Um, however, I often find that I'm like wearing last year's clothing, you know, five years ago clothing, clothing from college, because I just, I'm not into going shopping. 
So, and neither is my ideal self, right? Because she's not, she is the same person as I am. She just makes different choices. So how does she help herself? Well, one of the things that she does is she buys her groceries online and has them delivered to her door. She's lucky to live in a big city where this opportunity is available to her at a really great price. And so she takes advantage of that. Another is that she start, She uses Stitch Fix or Leto or please suggest another um, you know, place where you have a personal shopper. Okay, again, let's get a reality check. I do buy my groceries online. This is the real Isabel, right? I buy my groceries online. So in that way, my ideal self, avatar, and, and the real me are aligned. However, I have not yet dipped my toe into Stitch Fix. But this, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to move that much closer to my ideal avatar. So again, if you use any of these um, stitch fix type things and you really like it, please let me know in the comments because I have not made my, my full on commitment yet and I really appreciate your advice. So what else? Oh, also my ideal self has uh, someone who comes to her house uh, twice a month and cleans. She, you know, dusts and she does some of the deep cleaning. Now, I still clean my own toilets and pick up after my children and vacuum and do all that fun stuff. However, the deep cleaning, I outsource to someone else who is so sweet and so, and has actually, this is where, again, I'm aligned with my ideal self. She's been working for my family since we lived in this house, so almost eight years, and she is like family. And I feel really confident in um, my communication with her and also just this choice to get help where I need it. So this is a part, this is a big part of my ideal avatar is she asks for help, which doesn't come as easily to me as it might to you. However, I find that the closer I get to my ideal avatar, the more I like live inside of her, the easier these things are. So let me see if I'm just gonna do another one. Okay, my ideal avatar is super organized. She, she puts her kids' toys on a rotating cycle. Um, her clothing also goes on a rotating cycle. So she's about to take out her winter clothing from the garage and put away her summer clothes. Okay, so I am again aligning. We are not in full alignment yet, but we're getting closer. But I want, I want you guys to see that when I can see myself in the highest light as really myself, I, I know that I can make steps to get there, right? I have to have an ideal, right? And then as I get closer to her, I gain momentum and we become one. And then again, my ideal self rises. So this is my encouragement to you. How can you use your ideal self avatar to maybe create some more me time for yourself? You know, I'm all about me time. I'm all about ways that we can fill our own cups so much that we overflow into the saucer and then serve our loved ones from the saucer. And then we get to keep everything in the cup for ourselves. We don't give anything from the cup, we give from the overflow. Wouldn't that be amazing? And again, our ideal selves are already doing that, this. And if they can do it, then we know we can do it. Okay, so here's my free gift to you. I have created a very simple daily planner where you can write down all your obligations for the day, everything you do to make your day happen. This can be things you do for yourself, things you do for other people, appointments, and just maybe you, you may even want to do it for today or for tomorrow or for a busy day in your life. And I also have a space for you to talk about how you feel when you do these things, because that's the name of the game, how we feel. We want to feel good. So are, are you doing things during your day that feel good? 
or are you really just in obligation and just kind of in the drudgery of day-to-day -day life? And then the second side of this PDF that I'll again send it to you if you want it is a day in your ideal self's life. So what does she do? How does she feel? And then you get to compare the two. And my guess is that you'll notice that there are some similarities, just like you saw the similarities between myself and my ideal avatar. You will have similarities and let's celebrate those. So in the comments, leave your similarities with your avatar. And then I also invite you to leave where you aren't so similar, where there's a gap. And if you want help in filling that gap, leave that in the comments. Also, this is a group of incredibly wise women and we can help each other. We don't have to loan wolf it. Okay, I know that I loaned wolfed it for many, many years in my mothering. And the, the minute I understood that I could reach out and say, hey, can you just witness me and feeling this? Or can you, can you watch my kids for an hour so I can just lie down? You know, my life improved beyond my wildest dreams by the simple idea of asking for help. I know it's not even that profound, but it was for me. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you want this worksheet, just put in the comments, I want one. And it's yours. I can private message it to you. And I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's comments. Okay, see you on another mommy moment. Bye.